I'm going to show you in this video the basics of a video editing app and when we talk about basics I'm talking about a timeline now a timeline applies to any video editing app you know or you find in the app store it is basic right whether it's your phone you're using or it's a laptop or it's a software you're using on the laptop it applies you always have timelines in a video I'm going to be showing you this briefly on InShot before we go to the VN app which we'll be using much more along the way so let's step right into InShot and when you open InShot all right after downloading it you'll be able to choose video so you can create a new video i'm going to select video it's going to show you different drafts you've probably worked on if you've done it before and since we are not working on drafts we're going to go to a new project so new is where we'll go new okay so i click on new and then you select video so it's going to lead you first to it's going to lead you first to select the videos you want to include so you can choose different videos if you want but since this is a simple process and once you get the hang of this you can start adding different videos different clips together and all of that so we're going to start with two videos so i'm going to choose one and two all right these two videos and i'll tick here below now what happens is that my two videos are here on the timeline scroll 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 and this is it two videos all right the two videos are right here now what i don't like that is happening here is that my videos are in portrait size remember what i said about portrait and landscape so you don't want to keep your videos in portrait unless you are editing videos for tiktok or reels or you know igtv and all but if you're doing something that's very versatile like for youtube or for tv or a proper video that can fit into any platform then please stick to the rectangle size videos which is landscape right so this is the first thing we'll do we'll go to canvas on some other app you may not be called canvas and i'll show you what it sound what it's called in the vn app so here it's called canvas and we're going to choose 16 to 9 ratio it's called aspect ratio all right aspect ratio all right so as you can see there are different aspect ratios even for um instagram there are two types of aspect ratios for instagram and then you have the one for tiktok that can also fit into igtv and all of that so you have all the different size elements here now we're going to choose the one as you can see is youtube icon on it 16 to 9 ratio so we're choosing that and as you can see it has turned it to rectangle now what you want to do is don't click on the tick here click on the, don't click on one tick here instead click on the double tick all right so i'm going to click on that double tick and then you click on apply to all so what that's what that's going to do is apply this aspect ratio to all your video clips that you imported and we then leave this place so we can tick and go now both videos will have rectangle shape do you see that okay so now we have this sorted out you want to go ahead and understand what this timeline is really about as you can see up here we have different icons you know that you can use all right so we're going to look at maybe adding a text so let's add text do you see what i did i clicked on text let's say i want to type amber okay and then we tick on it we tick sorry and then you can move it around so use your thumb and move stuff around yeah so what i wanted to show you basically is the timeline amber now has a timeline so basically anything you create will have a new timeline another text let me say um video okay video has another timeline as you can see so video has another timeline on the major timeline basically so that's how you can get a hang of it truth is you can lift it up so that you know you can easily understand where each of this stuff is it can get a bit complicated if you work on this app which is why i prefer vn but what matters is that you just know where everything is amber can be moved just hold it and then move it hold and move then drop all right so you can actually and what happens is that when you when you press play it's going to play to that point and now show everything you put so it's going to disappear to boots, play amber shells, you see so what this means is that anything you put in this video just find the part of your timeline to place it any element you put whether it is a text or music or sticker or another video on top of this video or another picture just find a part in the timeline so let me say in 13 seconds 13.5 seconds you mentioned something on your instagram post 
do you see i moved this to 13.5 seconds what i want to do is now come and look for the post and put here so you're going to click on sticker plus size and then click on this icon that looks like a photo and then go into your camera roll and bring in the post so let me say we're talking about an instagram post that you want to maybe this one do you see another another it's, a, it's on another place on the timeline from exactly what we said 13.5 seconds all right so whenever i'm talking about this post it will show up immediately so it's just fun but what i wanted to make you see is the way the timeline works and it, this applies for any editing app they always have timeline so when you enter any editing app look out for the timeline and start putting things in order once you have that figured out your editing game is top notch all right so once you're done with all that you click tick now what i don't really like about this app is that my timelines or my elements in this timeline are showing by just lines you know the main thing i'm showing is the video and then the elements are not showing basically and i don't like that all right vn app shows me my elements so i can know where they are but this if i want to see where where i put amber or where i want to, where each element is i have to go click on text and find it that's it all right if i want to find where i put the sticker i have to go click there and i'll find it you get so it can get a bit complicated but if you have a hang of it it's not supposed to be an issue at all if you want to add music same thing go to tracks um add any music you know um it takes a while to come in give it a few seconds and yes use so now the music is now on the timeline and then we click on tick so now do you see that purple line so that's what i don't really like about this who is going to remember that there's green line that purple line is the music and green line is amber or green line so i just wanted to, you to know how this timeline thing works and where to put different elements of your videos on different parts of the timeline so if this is you and you've never edited before just get these basics right right understanding the timeline of a video editor how it operates because once you get that figured out video editing is going to be so easy for you so we're going to pause this video now and then we move on to the next video where i step right into the vn app and show you greater detail how to master this all right so follow me to the next video